These 23 plugins will make your music sound better, faster. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of the CIAS Podcast. I'm your host, Brian, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about plugins. And plugins are one of the most talked about things in music creation these days because there are so many plugins. There are so many companies who make these plugins and which is the best to get? What is the plugin that you need in order to make your music sound pro, sound the best it can? Well, I have a bit of a secret and that is that there is no one magic plugin that will solve all of your production desires and hopes and dreams. Because in music, especially in music production, it's all about the subtleties. It's all about using the right tool for the right job at the right time. And with that, I feel there is this so much spoken or maybe unspoken pressure that in order to do music well, we need to have every plugin from every single person. And for one, that's a lot of money. And two, that is just not true. When we find the things that work for us and make our music sound the best, those are the tools and plugins that we should have in our tool belt. But when it comes to gear and plugins, I'm a bit of a minimalist myself. I can be overwhelmed by all of the different options and all the different things that each one can do. But of course, I've collected quite a few plugins along my music production journey. And on today's episode, I wanted to walk through the 23 plugins that I use consistently every single day that I believe will help you make better sounding music faster because these are plugins that are really versatile. These are plugins that you can use in multiple scenarios on vocals, on instruments, on drums, whatever the case is for you. But these are plugins that I find myself going to over and over again that can make each track sound great quickly and and simply, and I feel like those are the two most important things because just like in my Logic Pro X for Artists and Songwriters music production course, I believe that technology should not get in the way of creativity. And these plugins all speak to that and all point to that possibility that yes, these are tools and these are things that you add on to your music, but they're very simple to use and very powerful. And after we get through the 23, make sure to stick around at the end because I've got a few honorable mentions that maybe I don't use every day, but these are great tools that will help push your music to the next level. So let's jump into plugin number one. And the first plugin is Waves CLA-2A. It's the Chris Lord Algies version of the famous LA-2A compressor. Now this plugin is so simple. It's two knobs basically. There's a ton of great presets built to just make things sound better. And I use this plugin every single day. So that's why it's the first one on my list, the CLA-2A by Waves. And number two is the RVox compressor from Waves. Now this is an amazingly simple vocal compressor that you literally put on and it's basically one slider that you go up and down as you push the knob up, it adds compression and gain in a very musical, in a very good way. And you can throw it on any vocal and it honestly has multiple uses. I use it for parallel bus compression sometimes. Super simple to use and very very powerful. And next is the Waves CLA Bass. Now this is another Chris Lord Algae Signature Series and you can get the entire Signature Series in a bundle, that's what I did, and all the plugins within there are great. Bass guitar can be a difficult thing to do because you want it to balance out in the track, you want it to sound very real but also fit in the mix. And there's multiple sliders and lots of options within this plugin but it's so simple to dial in a really professional sounding bass tone in just seconds. And the next one which I've talked about a ton is the Waves CLA vocals. Now just like the bass and just like the other ones we're going to talk about in this list, this plugin has super simple options but there is a lot to it but not in an overwhelming way. There's presets built right in so you can get a great starting place. I know that I have go-to settings in the plugin that I use over and over again because it just makes your vocals sound great really fast. So that's why CLA Vocals is definitely one of my go-to plugins. And next is the Waves CLA Unplugged. Still part of this CLA signature series, but this is a great plugin that I love to use for acoustic guitar, especially. It has some really good EQ sounds, it has some built-in effects, and it can just take your acoustic guitar especially and elevate it. Now you can use this on all kinds of other instruments, but I love to use the CLA Unplugged on my acoustic guitars, and I use it every day. Now next is the Waves GTR, and there's also a Stomp, which is the pedal version to the amp, but this is a great solution for any DI electric guitar. I use this on every single electric guitar. It has a ton of built-in amp simulators where you can get clean tones up to super heavy, crunchy metal tones, and it's all within this one plugin. And then you throw the stomp on top of that where you can add some delays or reverbs directly on your channel. Or honestly, a lot of times I'm doing that stuff on sends anyways, so I'm just using the amp, but 
The GTR amp, which the most updated version is the Waves GTR 3, is an amazing plugin for DI guitar. And number seven is the Waves One Knob Pumper. Now this plugin will do automatic sidechain compression. Now there are some limitations, but I love using this to give certain elements, especially loops, certain groove and certain motion that wouldn't have otherwise. I throw this on hi-hat loops, on shakers and tambourine loops, all the time. And yes, you can use it for the more traditional kind of dance beat sidechain compression, but I love throwing it on more organic instruments just to give it a little bit of extra motion and make it feel even more realistic. And I know that we're covering a ton of plugins here, but I'll have a link below for the Wave stuff, especially so you can get direct access and get a bit of a discount if you decide to pick up any of these plugins for yourself. And the next one is the Waves CLA Mixdown. Now, I usually use this on every single master bus in my sessions. It has a way to glue together the session and all the tracks that is unlike anything else. Now, I used to use the SSL G-Bus compressor and that actually is one of the plugins that we'll cover later, but I've been using the CLA Mixdown a lot recently. It just has four sliders, and again, there's presets with that too, but I love using it. Once you put it on your master bus within your session, it just sort of makes everything feel more cohesive, and it's a great plugin. And number nine is another Waves plugin that I use on my session master bus, and also when I'm mastering, and it is the L1 limiter. This is the simplest limiter I have ever used. It has two knobs, you just set your threshold, and then you basically push up your output gain until you are just taming the peaks. It's a great way to get the most volume out of your track and it couldn't be simpler. That's why I love the L1 limiter. And next, like I just mentioned, is the SSL G bus compressor. Now this is a great simple compressor to throw on any channel. I used to use it exclusively on my master bus to glue everything together, but now I love to use the mix down there and I use the G bus compressor on my drum channels. Now I'm typically using Drum Machine Designer in Logic and the thing that's great about the Drum Machine Designer is that you're able to have individual tracks of your samples just as if you were recording regular drums. I kind of treat it as a send on the Drum Machine Designer where I put the G-Bus compressor first and then the next plugin we're gonna talk about is the SSL G-Channel by Waves and that is what I use second on my Drum Master Bus and it just has a lot of great features. It's the classic SSL sound that we all know and love and it's really simple to use. Now there are a bit more knobs with that particular plugin, but I use it in a way to basically push up the low end, push up the high end, and then put subtle high and low pass filters just to bring it down. And there actually is some additional compression that I like to use there, especially the analog setting. I love the analog button on the SSL G channel. So between those two things, the SSL G compressor and the SSL G channel, those are always at the top of my drum mix bus. And number 12 is the Waves J37 tape. Now this is one of my favorite saturation plugins. I've done a video on this plugin alone because I love it so much. And I put this on everything from vocals to that same drum channel I mentioned before, to bass guitar, to acoustic guitar. It's showing up on most of the tracks I'm working on. Even sometimes I put it on the master bus just to give a little bit more warmth. It's a great plugin that will emulate that classic tape sound that we all love. And that's why the Waves J37 is is definitely one of my go-to plugins. And next is the Waves Tune Real-Time Plugin. This is a very simple auto-tune type plugin that can make any vocal sound good. And the best part about it is it's super low latency, so you can actually record directly into it. And if you don't do it that way, you can throw it on your channel and it will smooth out any vocals without pulling a lot of your CPU power. That's why I love using it on things like BGVs and if even on demo vocals when I'm just doing a rough mix just to make sure I'm smoothing out any kind of weird pitch issues. The Waves Tune Real Time is an amazing plugin to get quick tuned professional vocals. And number 14 is the Waves de -esser. This is one of the most classic Waves plugins of all time. It has just a few sliders on it and one in particular, and all you need to do is just drag it down and you can see where the S's are hitting and you just wanna tame those S sounds because as we're boosting up a lot of high frequencies to get that air and that nice lift, especially in a vocal, the Waves de is a really transparent de -esser and I use it on every single vocal. And if you're getting value out of this list, do me a huge favor and hit the like button, subscribe, and the bell icon. This is the best way for this video and content to reach other people working on their music too, and I would appreciate it so much. Next is the Waves H Delay. This is one of the best and most simple to use delay plugins, in my opinion. It has some great features. I love the lo-fi setting where it will instantly take all the high-end stuff that will get your delay out of the way of your vocal. There's other easy-to-use functions in it. With one button, you can have it locked with a BPM of your session. 
And I throw this on a Send all the time, and it is a great delay plugin that will get you exactly what you want to with a lot of versatility right away. And number 16 is the Waves IM Pusher plugin. Now this is meant for a quick and easy way to master your music. Now you can throw this on, it has several functions built in, like a spreader, it has a high end, it has a mid, and it has a low end frequencies. And then there's also something called body that will just kind of give everything more width and more size. So I love the IM pusher to throw on my master bus. Now I do use it in tandem with other plugins, but it's always on my master bus. And number 17 is the Universal Audio Auto-Tune. This is a great auto-tune plugin that we're all used to hearing. It's really simple, really smooth, and you can make it as T-Pained or as natural as you wanted to, but I love using the Universal Audio Auto-Tune plugin. Next is a plugin from Slate Digital called Fresh Air. Now this is typically a free plugin, really simple, there's only two knobs, and basically what it does is it adds air to the top of anything you put it on. Now I use this on vocals a lot. I use this even on, sometimes on the master bus. I might use this on acoustic guitar. It just kind of depends on the vibe of the track. But Fresh Air from Slate is one of my go-to plugins every day. Next is one of my favorite saturation plugins and it's Decapitator by Soundtoys. Soundtoys makes a ton of cool plugins, but Decapitator is the one that I tend to go to the most. It just has a great way of saturating. Now you can go way overboard with this plugin and get really heavy distortion, but if you do it subtly, and I like to use it a lot on drum channels, sometimes on vocals, depending on the song, and even on acoustic guitar, it brings a certain warmth, similar to like the J37 tape, but this is sort of like the next level and has a different character, but I love Decapitator from sound toys. And number 20 and number 21 are both excellent reverbs from one of my favorite companies, Valhalla. The first one is the Vintage Verb and the second one is the Room. Now Vintage Verb is one of my favorite and it was my first third party plugin I ever got and I'm so glad I did because I literally still use it every day and I've had it for at least six years. It is such an amazing reverb. It's lush, it goes great in Ascend, and it just adds a space and character to any track that you put it on. And the same thing with number 21 is the Valhalla Room plugin. Now this gives space, but it gives the feel of being in a room. That's exactly what it's called. And you can dial it in on a send or a bus and instantly can picture the band playing on a stage just with the smallest amount. And I use both of these reverbs on buses and sends on multiple channels because reverb is like the short and vintage verb is like the long reverb. And they both kind of work together in an amazing way. That's why I love both Valhalla's Vintage Verb and Room, and I use them every single day. And number 22 is by Valhalla again, and it is their delay plugin. It has this really great warm analog sound where the H delay from Waves is a very digital, a very perfect sounding reverb. The delay plugin from Valhalla is a very kind of old school throwback and there's tons of great presets in it. I love using it. Sometimes you just need that kind of extra character and the Valhalla delay has it every time. And number 23 is the channel EQ from Logic. It is the built-in Logic EQ and I use it on most every track. It's so simple to use. It sounds great. It's really transparent. It doesn't change the tonal quality of the track. It just cuts and boosts where you want it to. And I love using it and I've been using it ever since I got Logic and I use it every single day. So those are my top 23 plugins that I use every single day. And I wanted to run through a quick list of some honorable mentions that I also use a ton, maybe not every day because they might be a little specific to the sound, but I wanted to throw those out there. And the first one is Little Alter Boy by Sound Toys. This is a great pitch shifting, especially for vocals you heard all the time on pop music. The next one is Vocal Synth 2 by Isotope. This is my favorite plugin to do vocoding techniques. The next is Valhalla Shimmer. If Vintage Verb is a big reverb, then Shimmer is literally the biggest reverb. It does amazing things to electric guitar and just builds these huge lush swells. And that's why I love the Shimmer from Valhalla. I love the classic 1073 preamp plugin from Universal Audio, which I use a ton. It's a great way to warm up any track and give a vintage sound. Also a part of the CLA series, I love the CLA guitar. I tend to use the GTR amp more, but if I need just a different tone or if I want something, especially for like a lead guitar, I'll use the CLA guitar plugin. Also, another EQ that I love is from a company called Audio Thing, and it's called Blindfold. The thing that's really cool about this particular plugin is there's no numbers on it, just a few bands, but you're forced to use your ears instead of your eyes just to make it sound just right. And the last honorable mention, which I actually do use this plugin every day, but it's a bit more advanced, is Melodyne from Celimony. Now, this is the way that I tune all my lead vocals, and it's a bit more advanced and just throwing on an auto tune or the waves tune real time plugin, but it's a great way to get very natural sounding vocals and you can literally touch every single note and it creates 
a perfect sounding, natural sounding vocal every time. So there's the list of my top 23 workhorse plugins that I use every day. And I know that's a big list, there's a lot there, and it kind of covers the entire gamut from compressors, to time-based effects, to EQs, to saturation, and kind of everything in between. But I honestly went through my last few sessions and I just looked, and these are the plugins that I see over and over again. And I will say that there's something to be said for using plugins that we hear a lot, because our ears are tuned to knowing that sound. Our ears are kind of used to hearing that particular plugin sound. So when we put those plugins on our tracks, it's going to run them through the same filters and have the same familiarity. And there's something powerful about that because a lot of these plugins that I mentioned are used by a lot of people often. There's nothing really terribly unique the plugins I use are, but there is something to be said for that because these are the plugins that our ears are used to hearing on professional sounding records. I tend to lean towards plugins that are simple to use and just make things sound great. Now I will say, and I'm sure you noticed that a lot of these plugins that I mentioned are Waves plugins. And there's a reason for that because after I bought that first of all, Hall of Vintage Verve Reverb, the next thing I bought was actually the diamond bundle from Waves. It had like 70 or 80 plugins built into it. And that was way overwhelming to begin with, but I had this huge suite, this huge palette of new tools to lean into and to use. And I use uh, most of those plugins that I mentioned from Waves are all from that Waves Diamond Bundle. Now, of course, I have added to it along the way, but that first bundle that I got on, on a really great sale price, it might've been Black Friday or something, it was a while ago, but it really helped open my eyes to this whole new world. And as you can see from my list, I still use those plugins every day, so it was great money spent. So I would recommend to look into bundles. Maybe you don't have to get the huge bundles, but it could be a good way to bring in a lot of good plugins because when they create these bundles, they're curating the plugins within it to kind of meet the needs of most people. So you're gonna get a lot of useful tools all within one plugin bundle. So I wanna know, what are some of your go-to plugins? Comment below and let me know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And I look forward to seeing you next Friday at 5 a.m. on the CIS Podcast.